Hello, welcome back to the anime news for the week ending February 23rd, 2018. Starting with some new anime on the horizon, uh, Pastel Memories, which is a smartphone game, is getting a TV anime series coming soon. It is an otaku girls role-playing game, uh, sort of a, a, a raising project concept where uh, basically um, Akihabara is now in decline, it's in the near future, and these girls are trying to um, uh, sort of take back Akihabara for various things and battle some virus. Looks very cute. Uh, got a variety of, of you know, cute anime girls in it. Uh, so here's something that turns out uh, well. The, uh, the game only came out in mid-October, so it's pretty, pretty recent. And uh, hopefully it will, uh, it will do well. We will, we will find out. No more information. Don't know how long it is or anything else like that. Um, but that is a new thing that is coming, so that's, that's fun. Uh, moving on to also announcement of another new anime coming out, Goblin Slayer, based on a series of light novels, um, and the, uh, it will premiere this year, so sometime in 2018. Um, we've already got, uh, there's a drama CD ad adaptation, so we're going to have the same voice cast as in the drama CD. Uh, Yuichiro Umahara will play Goblin Slayer, Yui Ogura with a, with a priestess and other things. Basic concept is that this young priestess has formed her first adventuring party, um, and things don't go as well as desired. Um, but uh, the person who comes to the rescue is this guy called the Goblin Slayer, who is just fanatically uh, devoted to killing every goblin. And uh, you're kind of rather fanatical, if you will. So. Um, curious to see how that's going to go, uh, and we can actually find out a little bit more about that because we have a clip. Let's watch that. A teaser, rather. idea what cowgirl means in this context a little freaky but uh yep that is an anime coming this year so here's hoping that, that turns out well uh also announced recently but with some more interesting details a uh, new anime adaptation of banana fish a uh, manga that came out in the 80s i believe um <clears throat> and uh very well known very very famous um has a um, bit of a yaoi twist to it, but it's fundamentally a sort of an assassin drama from what I've looked at. I've not read it, um, but it is set in New York in the 1980s. The new adaptation they've announced is going to follow the exact same story. It's going to be a two core, so 24 episode anime series. It's going to adapt the entire story of the, the manga. The only big thing they're going to change is they're going to update it to present day instead of keeping it in 1980s New York. Uh, I'm assuming that's because it's just a lot harder to get 1980s New York accurate, especially if you don't, if you're not from America, and you know, that, that's a lot of research about another country and another culture, you know, several decades prior. So it'll all be set in modern day, but otherwise it will be the story of banana fish. So cool to hear. Uh, not sure when it's coming out. Um, don't have a, um, a premiere date just yet. Um, do know that the uh, director will be uh, Hiroko, Hiroko Utsumi, who directed Free, uh, working at MAPPA. And Hiro, uh, Hiroshi Seko will be writing the scripts. Uh, he wrote, uh, worked on Ajin, Mob Psycho 100, uh, Inu Yoshiki, Last Hero, other things. So, interesting. We'll, we'll see where that goes. And we actually also have a clip of that, or at least a teaser. interesting doesn't it so we will we'll see where that goes um uh, also news about an existing anime getting some more material 
Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Is getting a season two and a movie. So that's pretty cool. Um, we've got this uh, this promo art here uh, for the the new season, and uh, the film will have be an original story, so not adapting something from the the existing stories. And the original story will be written by the um, original author of the the concept. So good on them there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, based on a light novel series, by the way. So good to hear that. More anime of that coming. Again, no details about you know um, anything else. So we'll see. Uh, finally, some award news. I generally don't cover award news too much, but some of the big ones are often worth talking about. The Tokyo Anime Award Festival um, uh, happened recently, and they've, they've already announced a few of the winners. A few more have come out this week. In this corner of the world, you see here, won the award for the Theatrical Animation Division. Kimono Friends won the TV Animation Division Award. Uh, and Yuri on Ice won the Anime Fan Award. Interestingly, this is the second year in a row that Yuri on Ice won the Anime Fan Award, despite not coming out in the period, but who knows. Um, also notable, uh, Yuki Kajiura got an award for Best Sound Slash Performance. Uh, good for that. So, um... Congratulations to In This Corner of the World for winning the award. And that will do it for us for this week. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you here next week for more news.